There's a lesson to be found in every little town. I feel I'm making ground, cause I'm Kentucky bound. Hello, I'm Doug Flynn, and welcome to Kentucky Life. Behind me is the northern Kentucky town of Maysville. This is a view that photographers can't resist. The artists in our first story tonight also have a view they enjoy. Michelle Strader and Frederick Martolovich work in a studio on the hilltop farm that's home to their animals and a variety of wildlife. They collaborate on ceramic ware that reflects the natural world they see. On the day we visited, Frederick had lost his voice, but their art speaks for itself. I think that the artwork that we make it kind of draws on our individual strengths um, because he is more drawn to the construction of forms. Um, he has a very clean aesthetic where I'm much more organic and detail-oriented and sort of messy and layered in my techniques. So I think that creates a really nice balance. Frederick does a lot of the throwing of the forms on the wheel, especially our large platters, any of our large bottles, our bigger pieces. And then I do all the surface decoration and, and embellishment. There's definitely a balance between form and the decorative. You really don't want one to overtake the other. There needs to be consideration for both. I want it to be as functional as possible, and yet at the same time, for it to be a blank canvas for her to be able to work on. We do platters, we do um, dinner plates, dessert plates, mugs, tumblers. Um, we do whiskey jugs and whiskey cups. The porcelain is a little bit of a different process. It's a white porcelain. That is the color of the natural clay body coming through. Those pieces, 90% of the work happens before the first firing of the clay. So Frederick will throw that on the wheel and make sure it's ready for me to decorate. And once it's at the appropriate stage, the illustration is painted on using a colored clay. And then I will usually go in and carve away details or to create texture and then uh, it's allowed to dry a little bit longer. And then we do a first firing, what's called a bisque firing. Once the clay or the piece goes through a bisque firing, we then um, just glaze it in a clear glaze and we put it through a glaze firing. So it goes through two firings after the decorating process. The images on the pottery are inspired by what happens on the farm. Beyond that, I do have a lot of outside influences. Um, I love uh, primitive art and folk art. I look at uh, traditional tattoo culture uh, symbols. A lot of customers have remarked that the illustrations look like they have sort of like an Asian il illustrative quality to them or Native American. I'm a lover of mark making and texture and scribbles and dashes and, and lines. And I can almost sometimes overdo it at times. Um, that's where he comes in. He is kind of, he kind of tells me when to stop sometimes just to make sure that things don't get too overworked because that's also something that can happen very easily. When we first started collaborating, we were very interested in the whole balance of life and the food chain and how the pack of wolves hunt the elk and, and ultimately what happens to that elk. That moment where, you know, a hare is snapped up in the talons of, of a hawk or an eagle um, and carried away, that moment where it just accepts its fate. That's where a lot of the prey animals sort of being chased or running on the surfaces of our wear has kind of come into play, the sort of balance of prey versus predator. The bunny, for me, is a really important image. It's um, one that I'm very familiar with that I've done many, many times. He's a, a constant character in our work, and I think that's just because of how uh, fragile a, a bunny's 
life can be. They're almost given no defenses. They're the definition of a, a, an animal in flight. And we've definitely witnessed that here on the farm. The diamonds around the eyes and, and the embellishments, uh, sometimes I'll put markings on their paws or on their tails or their ears. That definitely, I feel, comes from Native American art um, and Native American culture. I definitely draw a lot of inspiration from from Dusty, my horse, and Dante, our goat. I think that Dusty ultimately finds his way into a lot of our imagery on our pottery. Um, whether I mean to have it there or not, he just kind of shows up. Adelaide does appear in our artwork. I do a lot of foxes and I do a lot of wolves. And I think that her face and her ears specifically show up in a lot of those pieces and her expressions. She does have a very expressive face. People see our stuff sometimes. We've had this response where people say, oh, that's my spirit animal or yeah, whatever. That's, there are a lot of people that will come through and, and they'll be able to connect with a piece because they feel connected to the animal that's on the wear. Within the last year or so is when we've been really seriously trying to, to get together and sell our wares and, and, and make this collaborative line work. I think we're really fortunate right now because of what's going on with the handmade movement, um, making things by hand and knowing where the things in your home come from, whether it's the food in your refrigerator or the cups in your cabinet. I think that a lot more individuals are interested in, in knowing um, who made those things and, and where they came from. And I think that that is related to the work that we're making. Shows and art fairs, we have learned are sort of, um, sort of like running a little bit of a marathon. Um, the prep beforehand is so tremendous for us to take part in one of those, a lot of planning goes into it and a lot of preparation and actually getting out there and doing the sale. It does take a, a tremendous amount of energy from both of us. So we're trying our best. We have had such um, an amazing response from our customers, um, from family and friends, just of everyone being so supportive and, and encouraging and excited that we're, we've taken on this new venture. Um, and it's only really driven us to keep working harder and trying to improve our craft with every step. Just keep on making. <laughs>